Morning, Rob. You ready to take your power test? Hi, Angie. I sure am. Been warming up for a little bit here, so Great. let's get into it. The Cyclops power test measures your threshold power, our starting point for getting fitter, a reference for going faster, and a measuring tool for going farther. The reason that you want to take the power test is first we want to determine your threshold power. By determining your threshold power, we're going to be able to make key training zones based on that threshold so you can train smart. No guesswork, it's who you are, and you can get results immediately because it's based on actual measurement. So I'm going to know a real number when I get out of here. You're going to know your threshold power and five training zones to go with your threshold power. Excellent, let's do it. Great. You're all warmed up, right? I am. Okay, I am. so warm up is really important. And also make sure that you fill out a health history form with your gym. Um, make sure that your doctor approves of you um, being active and exercising. Ticker's okay and you're all ready to go. I'm all set. Sign that liability form. Great. So before we get started with the power test, let's talk about the supplies that you'll need. First, you need a bike that measures power. What you got, Rob? I'm on the Cyclops Club Pro 300 PT, the only power measuring indoor cycle on the market. That's a tricked out bike. Next, you'll need a heart rate strap. You got your heart rate strap on? Strapped on. USB stick to collect data. Got it. Check. Stopwatch. We're going to be timing the test. A clipboard and notebook and pen. We're going to be writing down some information. I also brought a water bottle, towel. Good idea. You're going to be sweating. Excellent. A uh, well-ventilated room, so we want to make sure that the room is, is well-ventilated because you're going to heat up. Uh, fans would be great if you happen to have them. And a uh, rate of perceived exertion chart. So on a level of 1 to 10, what effort are you feeling, 10 being the hardest effort? So a couple of things that I want you to pay attention to is cadence. We want to create something in this test that's sustainable. And so you'll be watching cadence off your console. Okay. Um, in theory, you'd keep your cadence around 80 to 100. But based on fitness level, that cadence may have to drop a little bit or could be a little bit higher. In general, it's about 80 to 100. Why don't you start rolling your legs right now to a point that feels very easy. On a perceived exertion scale, that'd be about a 1 on the scale. All right. Heart rate would be typically around 100. So while you're warming up, because warm up is very important during this test, while we're, you're warming up, let me give you a little bit more idea of what we're going to do. Every three minutes, you're going to add more load to increase your wattage by about 10 to 25 watts. And that's really different for each individual. It's based on your fitness level. I'll let you know when the three minutes is done. You'll increase your load. And we'll continue with these stages until you get to a point where it feels very hard. Perceived exertion scale, it's around a 7-8. While you're doing these stages, I'm going to be taking notes on your average power, your average heart rate, every stage. Mm -hmm. And all you have to do is pedal and breathe. Sounds good. I can do that. Okay, Rob, you just finished your first stage. How does it feel? Oh, it's easy. Okay. So what I'd like you to do is, first let's hit the stats button. I'm going to record your average heart rate and your average power. Great. That's at your easy stage. So this is what you're going to do for the, re for the rest of the test, and we'll repeat this each time. Uh, hit reset. Add some load until you feel a change. Sustain your cadence. Your cadence is going to be sustained at 80 to 100 RPM. And you're going to continue until the next stage. You go from several stages, which will repeat the same process each time. Uh, Perceived exertion is going to go from easy to moderate to hard to very hard. And we want to pay attention to very hard. OK, Rob, your three minutes is up, so we're going on to your next effort. So that go was, ahead, hit the stats button. All right. that, was about, pretty, that was a moderate effort. Moderate effort. Okay. Average power, average heart rate, great. Let's hit reset. Next step, add some more load, feel a change, keep the cadence consistent. And you're good to go for three more minutes. Okay. 259, three. Next stage. Right. Okay, hit the reset or hit the stats button. That was, uh, average power, that average power. Sort of hard. Sort of hard. Okay, we're going to go one more stage. Okay. Let's uh, reset the computer. Perfect. Add some more load. Feel a change. Cadence is consistent. Looks good. Let's see, 255, 56, 57, 58. That's three minutes. Next stage. How you feeling? That was really hard. Very hard. Okay, let me just grab some stats from you. Average power, average heart rate. 
Perfect. I have everything I need, Rob. You can go ahead and get rid of the resistance. Sure. Toss your legs around nice and easy and start pulling down. Nice All job. Right. Thanks. So perceived exertion at the end of the test should feel like it's very hard. Some signs would be he'd be sweating, droplets of sweat. His breathing is very noticed. You can hear his exhale leaving his body. His breathing is labored. Instead of controlling his breath, there's a little more panting going on. I'm Fatigue done. may start to be settling into his legs. He has a difficulty carrying on the conversation. Can you talk to me, Rob? I can tell you I'm done. He can tell you he's done. How you feeling, Rob? I feel really good. Now that I know my threshold power, I can establish my training zones so that when I come to class, I can work out smarter and more effectively. Training made simple.